In this remote control quick tip, I'd like to talk about these things. Now, this is something that I've actually already talked about on the CC3D series. So if you've seen that, you've seen this information already. But I wanted to share it more generally on the channel so everybody would find it. Now, I've been flying this little 250 quad for a while now and having great fun with it. But what I've started to see in the hobby is uh, two friends over the past eight weeks have lost a model, either through a flyaway, where one went into the sun and uh, potentially then went into Leylandi trees, but you couldn't tell and you never found the thing. Uh, the second person went into a uh, long grass in a very large area, and no matter how much we combed the field, we couldn't find the vehicle. Both of those situations could have been helped if we'd installed one of these things, which is a little discovery buzzer from Hobby King. So if you just go onto Hobby King and search for discovery buzzer, this is what you'll find. As you can see, they're relatively inexpensive and they're a piece of cake to fit. Inside the packet, you actually get the device itself. And here I have it plugged into a receiver. It's relatively small and light and inobtrusive, but very loud. And you also get a little manual that basically says you plug it into the receiver and when the channel value is high, it's going to make a noise. If I just plug it in for a second, every time the system powers up, it goes through a little self-test to let you know it's working, which is a great idea. I've just got it plugged into the throttle channel now and I'll show you why in a sec. So if I just unplug this, and then plug it back in, you'll hear the noise it makes. I'm actually going to turn the volume on the video down a little bit, because otherwise this will flood my recording software. So that's the noise it makes. I love the way that it actually announces that it's all working fine as part of the power on. It's good to remind you that you've got it there. Now in normal operation, what you'd actually do is plug this into a gear or an auxiliary channel on one of the switches on the transmitter. So when you'd lost the model, all you needed to do was just flick the switch to make it sound. I've actually popped it onto the throttle channel just because I want to show you how it works. Um, anything above halfway on the throttle channel, uh, anything above 1500 microseconds or 1500, will actually make this little thing sound. Even if you just go over the midpoint briefly, it will still make that full two cycles of alarm. So if I take it over 50% on the throttle, it will continue to sound, so long as the value is high. What you'll notice as well is even if I just briefly go above halfway point on the channel that it's connected to, it will still make those two rounds of sound. So let me just do that very quickly. So, worthwhile installing, I would say, on every single one of your craft, particularly those that you're going to be flying around areas that have larger trees or longer grass, this little device, for the money it costs, could actually save you your £200 model. So my quick tip for today is, get yourself one of these, plug it into a spare channel on your receiver, and don't get caught out like a couple of people have recently that I know. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and happy flying.